you know, he's fugitive Australian journalist Shane Delling from the website and YouTube channel, Kangaroo Court of Australia. Now, the Labor Party are practising their lies for the up-and-coming federal election, which should be held either later this year or maybe even early next year, March or May next year. And one of the big lies they're pushing is that uh, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese is a better Prime Minister than Scott Morrison or Peter Dutton. If you don't vote Labor, you'll end up with Peter Dutton as Prime Minister. So they're using the old scare tactics. And let's take it at the highest. Let's say Prime Minister Anthony Albanese is a better Prime Minister than Scott Morrison and Peter Dutton. But how much better? Scott Morrison and Peter Dutton should be facing criminal charges for the massive fraud and theft they oversaw when they were in government. But they're not. And who's protecting him? Prime Minister Anthony Albanese with his fake National Anti-Corruption Commission. We know it's a fake, it's a fraud, they have secret hearings, and they themselves are currently under investigation for alleged corruption. So the National Anti-Corruption Commission is a joke. And who's it protecting by having a fake National Anti-Corruption Commission? Well, it's protecting Scott Morrison, it's protecting Peter Dutton. Peter Dutton stole billions of dollars, oversaw the stealing of billions of dollars when he was Home Affairs Minister uh, to these dodgy uh, detention centres run by his mates. And we know Scott Morrison oversaw billions being stolen via JobKeeper and other government schemes. So both of them, Scott Morrison and Peter Dutton, should be facing criminal charges. They should be under investigation, potentially in court now, but they're not. And that's because Prime Minister Anthony Albanese set up a fake National Anti-Corruption Commission. And concealing a crime is a crime in itself. So Prime Minister Anthony Albanese should be under investigation and probably facing criminal charges for concealing the crimes of Scott Morrison and Peter Dutton. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese and the Labor Party didn't set up a fake National Anti-Corruption Commission just to protect the Liberal Party and the National Party. They obviously up to their neck in corruption themselves, or they're planning on being up to their neck in corruption sometime in the future. Prime Minister Anthony Albanese sat down with Peter Dutton. They came up with an idea of setting up the fake National Anti-Corruption Commission. They did a dirty deal. So when you see the trolls on social media saying, oh, Prime Minister Anthony Albanese is a lot better Prime Minister than Scott Morrison or any other Liberal Prime Ministers were, and he's a lot better than Peter Dutton would be. Remember this, taking it at the highest, even if he is better, he's not much better because he's the one protecting them. He's the one who's aided and abetted them in their crimes. And if Anthony Albanese and the Labor Party had to set up a true National Anti-Corruption Commission, they'd be in power for the next 10 years because the National Anti-Corruption Commission would be spending the next 10 years investigating all the corruption the Liberal Party and the National Party committed over the last 10 years that they were in power. So the fact that Anthony Albanese and the Labor Party have set up a fake National Anti-Corruption Commission is basically admission by them that they plan on committing corruption over the next few years and they want to be protected themselves. Why a fake National Anti-Corruption Commission? The reality is Australia cannot afford anymore to have a Labor Party or a Liberal Party having majority control of Parliament. So we need more independence to keep them accountable. But what the Labor Party doing, they're using the fear campaign, or you better vote Labor, otherwise you'll end up with Peter Dutton. But it's the Labor Party are the ones who are protecting Peter Dutton. Peter Dutton should be in jail for the multi-billion dollar frauds he oversaw when he was a Home Affairs Minister. If more people vote independent, we're probably likely to end up with a Labor Party minority government. And that's a lot better than the Labor Party government we got at the moment, where they're setting up fake national anti-corruption commissions. They're spending... $368 billion on eight submarines we'll probably never get. They're covering up the robo-debt crimes, et cetera, et cetera. And Kangaroo Court of Australia is independent media. I publish a website and a YouTube channel, and I'm 100% crowdfunded from viewers like yourself, so please support my Patreon account. I currently have 430 supporters donating $2,382 a month, and I need to almost double that to become financially viable. And you can donate any amount, $3, $5, 10 15 20 30 40 $50 a month, whatever suits your budget. And the link for the Patreon account will be below this video on YouTube and also on my website. And please hit the like and subscribe button. Please share this video on social media. Other than that, thank you for your time and have a good day.